it feels pretty good. I mean, we're coming in with a big win streak right now through regionals and everything. And I mean, it's just carrying over. It's just building confidence as we go through. By its very nature, postseason basketball is a completely different animal and no place for the timid. The deeper into the playoffs you go, the quieter the whistles seem to become and the harder it becomes to earn a trip to the foul line. Home court advantage from this point forward is virtually non-existent, as is the margin for air. It simply becomes the domain of the mentally and physically tough. And to that end, the Unity Mustangs are ideally suited for this moment in time. It just comes from practice. I mean, coach makes us get out and get after each other in practice, and it just carries over onto the floor. I mean, we play a lot more physical than what everybody else does, and it shows. We go hard against each other, and it helps us all get better. I mean, plays over, all friends, but we go hard while it's, while it's live. But a, a lot of it is uh, just role models. These guys uh, you know, feed off of each other, and when one of them's getting after it in practice, diving on the floor, scrapping for loose balls, you know, the rest of the guys really do the same thing. We go out and play hard. Everybody else, I mean, most of the people got there from talent and stuff, but we feel that we just we work harder than everybody else, and we feel that we can come out with the win. For lack of a better word, the Mustangs are best described as gritty. They concede you nothing on the court, a defensive mindset that will come very much in handy Thursday against Kiwani Weathersfield and star guard Trevor Lay, who Keith Carruthers likens to former Southeastern star Reagan Bringer. You guys have to stop them, don't you? Yeah, and we, we have a lot of kids that can do that. Will Kusmeyer, Alex Bucay, I mean, I think they're going to get the job of that. But they'll take turns rotating on and off, and they'll be able to stop them. They're two great defenders, so I, I don't expect it to be a terrible problem for them. Though. How do you approach them defensively? Just the same as any other game. I mean, we had a tough assignment with Weiss the other night against Central, and other people helped or stepped up and helped off of him and stuff, and we shut him down, so we'll do the same thing. 